kind of have... I think you want to go off lane here and, and really pressure the, the supports. Okay. The the other issue is, I mean, who do you go off lane with them? Prepare the Axe Dazzle or Axe Dazzle Lion? I still feel like that, that lane could end up giving up kills. So, well, PPD. A little exclamation point there on his GLHF. He's really excited. He wants everyone to have fun. That's, uh, that's the spirit. Oh, that's the stuff. Complexity trailing. Uh, one in the best of three, but still so showing some horse faces, trying to have a little fun here. And I, I think this pick could work, Dakota. It could catch EG very much off guard. At the same time, EG have the Juggernaut Magnus duo. That's very dirty if you get the big RPs. Yeah, I mean, one big RP plus the Empower, that's sure to be on your Jug, and he's hacking and slashing away, and that spreads across everyone that Sumail connects with. Mill may be a bit rusty. I mean, we don't know, of course, what they run in their scrim play, but he could be a bit rusty with Magnus play. Bad. You haven't seen him run this in any NEL, have you? Nope. Not okay. that I've seen as of recent. But then again, you know, it's not like I could watch all NEL matches, so we'll have to see. I'm getting excited for this one, LD. Game number two of this best of three series. It's match point for EG. They win this one. They get to move on forward to play Not Today, who did win in their match oh, earlier against Leviathan. Oh, okay. He, he dropped his web so that he couldn't actually get in it, but he ate a tree to make his way the up onto the high ground to try to steal this bounty rune. We must play a sneaky sneaky here. It's really hard to... When Sumail's like on top of the rune, it gets really hard to actually select it, so... Not able to grab that bounty. I mean, his big fat body Magnus has. Girthy Magnus, to steal your favorite word. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see here. So you're right, Z Freak is going to be repping the offlane at his solo, just looking to kind of throw together his soul ring, get level three. PPD does not have any sort of detection on hand. We they check over with Aoi. They have no, two sentries. No okay. dust. That's fine. Oh, they can make it work here with two sentries. Swindle Melons, though. Look at him. Oh, his lion here. He wants a courier. Sumail, who didn't quite rush Bado immediately, he has a stout shield and lots of regen. It's going to be a bit if Sumail or Swindle wants to wait around, and it looks like he's not going to wait much longer. Uh, the, you know, the thing is, he may have actually made it work because they they did not have a ward up near that topper, and he may just stick around and try to go for this. I think the call will be made by Ritsu. To, oh, oh, there's CZ Freak on him. Yeah, this is, this is awkward for your spider early on. Trying to nerd out in the tree line here. Ooh, he's trying to be slippery here. Waiting behind. Eventually he will pop out, and now he will slap him with an arcane bolt. But look who's coming in from behind mid lane. They want to take advantage of this Magnus early on. He fakes out the skewer once. Wendell, ouch, that was ouch. not that was not worth. Boom. First Big damage. Blood. Oh man! What a catch from Sumail. He skewers forward and shockwaves just to catch him with that. Swim. And now he's not gonna snipe the courier either. <laughs> okay. Jeez, that hurts. Oh, man. Top lane. Is he doing some good harass here to Universe? Both offlane are struggling, and that's where that could have been a bottle snipe to start the game off. And with no rune ward, there's a decent chance they get it. Instead, it ends up being a, a first blood and no bottle snipe here for EG. Sumail just playing smart, making plays in the mid lane. He, he's known for doing this. Yeah. Gets it done again. I mean, it typically should be a matchup where Shadow Fiend should have the upper hand on paper, but with a boost like that. And it's not going to be as easy. And he's got a double damager now. He's just going to go in on the Swindle. Has the skewer. Uses it. Wants to dive this tower. Needs one or two more auto attacks to get the kill. With a shockwave follow up his bottom lane. They continue to just plop down sentries all over the place. They know Z Freak's in the neighborhood. And they're going to scout him out here. They've managed to damage him with the wave of terror. And all of a sudden, he can't run through the trees. He'll get blade furied and brought down. So they're now winning mid with the bottom. With the, the first blood. And... Uh, dodging the bottle snipe, and now they, they get a kill bottom. So two lanes going well for EG. Universe almost level four, so I would say he's doing all he needs to do in this lane. And, well, could be three lanes won at that rate. Call misses top, and Universe just continues to get everything he needs to out of this top lane. I mean, eventually, the Brood could use the assistance of this Dazzle in the bottom lane, and that's when we can see maybe some of those quick heal bombs. But for now, Brood needs to take the time to try to find her way and get some levels. Still at level two. Does throw down a sentry, removes the one up and above. So has a bit more wiggle room now. But yeah, with that one takedown, it does solidify this bottom dominance here for EG. Fear will continue to have uncontested farm as he goes forward into his phase boots. And maybe now these supports don't have to be here as long. It looks like PPD is already going to go out. Has a smoke, not using it quite yet. But if he wants to look to set something up, possibly towards this mid lane, he could certainly do so. 
Yeah, this is this is a concern here. Shadow Fiend is supposed to dominate the mag and uh, where he should be significantly up. You can see Ritsu is really CSing nicely, but not Dyer's able to get as much of a lead as he would like th thanks to that first blood. That really makes the big difference here. Still, going into the mid game, if they can just catch up, calm down, get the blink dagger on Zizzy. They have the Broodmother who still, even if she dies here or there, there isn't much in the way of AoE to clear out the spider lanes. But hold that thought, because PPD smoked up, looking to make a play on mid. If he gets a stun into a skewer back, could easily be a kill here. Down here and grabbed by Swindle. Now he's going back. Maybe hoping that Shadow Fiend would go towards that rune top, but that's not the case this time. Now, yeah, with the support grabbing the rune, PPD may just give up. Windle's coming in from behind. Uh, oh, the mag's actually going bottom rune. Maybe they can catch him out and punish him. Hex to start. Not even going to bother. They'll just let PPD walk away, and he will. <laughs> He'll give up on the mid gank, but he also doesn't really get punished for it. Yeah. So they know PPD's not near this bottom lane. Maybe that means Z Freak can feel a little bit more comfortable on his brood. Dancing about for now. Aoi does Radiance make his return. Tower is under now your brood does almost have his soul ring. Actually, it might be complete on Courier, which is currently occupied in the mid lane. Nope, not the case. Just dancing around here with Ritsu, it looks like for now. 26 and 11 for him. Your top CS, though, does belong to Zid. No surprise in the top lane axe. Still kind of going with muscle power here against the universe in his clockwork. Ritsu. Mag is about to hit level 6 here. This is where there's a little kill potential for the Mag, especially if he wears you down with the Shockwaves. They are bringing in the Venge top as well. So now you can see him posting up now. Has the regen rune. About to get it. Oh, continues to, to spam down. and He's going to pop the regen. Radiant's get level 6. And that's where Ritsu needs to sit far back. Make sure he's at full HP and ideally hug the tower so that he's not in too much danger of dying. He just he's got out DP here. Swindle so gonna exchange blows, but you really can't trade with Avenge. Four armor versus one, and uh, just a solid right clicking hero in general. A lot of pressure on the Shadow Fiend. He is not. Now that the lane stage is over, he's not having an easy time. Top lane, though. Zizzy engaging with the universe. Where are the spins? He's just not getting them. Finally, a spin will come out, but it's not enough. Oh, man. That's a that that's was... a one-on-one -on -one takedown. Further clockwork. The second he gets level six, uh, a lane where you think that. More of an advantage didn't, there for your axe. He gets crazy a part. Didn't even happen. Didn't even use the hook. Just walked in, found him at the side shop, and gets it done. What a player! Now that, that's Radiant's one you just can't be afford. You can't afford to attack. give up. You're running a dual lane top. It's a clockwork versus axe, where at best it's even, and often we see the axes just win. But great grab there by Nick, just catch him out in, in the tree line. Not something you expect. Z frequently able to kind of nuke and at least get some broodlings together to work with. Not quite at the level where he can at least use the jungle nearby. But it's still plenty of time for Fear to continue to farm up. Second in net worth right now. His days boots are already done. And he's just making a good time. Now he does plan a ward. And he's going to get the deny of the sentry nearby. He wants to come in and he takes out the sentry at the same moment. So they end up trading Top sentries. Top lane, here, sweet. Gets off the grid. Nope, doesn't even Dyer's cast it. Gets the chain stun. Got the battery assault, the, the Venge missile. They'll bring him down. Another kill in this top lane. Starting to really add up here. Back at mid, we have yet to see the RP unleashed. I'm sure Sunail has got an itchy trigger finger. Love to make a big play here with it. And in the meantime, Swindle just trying to get a little bit of solo XP while they can. can't move on him. Yeah. In danger now. <laughs> They're just around the tree line. Now they scout him out with the rocket. AUI gonna hunt him. Nukes him once. Swindle has his nail. Shock shock wave. Wave. Got him again. That is two skewer snipes on the Swindle from Sumail. Magnus, man, the no scope. Okay. Now the courier gets has been killed. Okay, what the Auto attack what, down where? by Ritsu. I think it was following. Oh, top lane. More action breaking out of Ziz. Gets caught. Clockwork doesn't hook again. They just get the initial stun off from the bench. Follow up and another kill on your safe lane. Axe. The idea here is to get a very fast blink, but the death's starting to pile up. He's He's been delayed in his efforts. I think the courier was trying to go to the mag, yeah. and then, then he like tower. runs around this attack. way, and so the courier continues to follow him and just gets in, in range of the tower and maybe a single Shadow Fiend auto attack. It was carrying an energy booster. Arcane boots of uh, Sumail are going to be put off a bit because of it. So, not too dramatic, but that is a nice little gold boost for complexity. They certainly need it. It's 6 to 0. They have yet to get their first kill in this game. Proving to be very difficult across the whole map. Universe was able to get a nice grab there on the axe in the top lane. We've already seen multiple times what Sumail's been able to do here. And Fear has not really been contested quite yet on the bottom.
as is Jug. You get to really make anything happen with an Omni Slash, but it's no Case of the Universe going in top, top. Looking for that opening again. They just want to keep on shutting down Ziz, and they're going to close the distance. Corner him in. He gets off a call to drag Universe back towards the tower. And that will be enough to save him. If he gets caught away from it, he goes down. But instead, he'll just walk away. PPD able to retreat out as well. And although they don't get the kill, they, they don't really doesn't really cost them a whole lot either. Still waiting for an opening here. EGR being pretty adventurous, and that means their supports don't really have a lot as far as levels go. But I guess you could say the same thing for the complexity side. I'm just banking that it would be nice. Aoi is be able to throw together a Mystic Flare with this kind of a team. It shouldn't be too hard to get the quick follow-up, whether it be the universe lead-in with a hook shot and some cogs or what. But they have eyes for this top lane still. Like vultures. They're just flying around to see an opportunity to maybe make a pounce. Hmm. I am really wondering what Ritsu wants to buy. Is the 2300 gold? Is this a Yules game? Does he look towards the mech? Does he even rush BKB? You can make an argument for, for any of these items. The Yule's good against really good against the hookshot mystic flare. Mech would help them team fight and they're a pretty strong four-man unit, but Yules. while he's busy trying to decide, they're gonna make a go on him. Universe. I'm swooping in Radiant's towards mid. Courier flying attack. test. I think it just scouted PPD, but they get off the hook shot to start it off. Now the follow-up comes. X gonna TP and doesn't have his blink yet. Surrounded in the cogs. No defensive supports ready. They'll get the kill. Call comes out from Ziz. Might get a single chop here. The dunk is successful. He stays alive. Now the dazzle coming in. Does Zizzy want to re-engage? No, he'll back out. So it ends up being a one for one, but a Shadow Fiend for a clock, a trade EG will take any day of the week. And with that kill, Ziz gets his Blink Dagger on the axe. This could be a, a game changer here for complexity early on. He is He's the guy. He's the one who has to go around setting up kills. Yes. The Brood's not going to do it. The Shadow Fiend isn't snowballing, although he is farming really well in the jungle and keeping up. He's not exceeding Radiant's this Magnus by any stretch. And speaking attack. of Blink Dagger, Sumail Dyer's just bought his as well. It's on the Courier attack. heading towards bottom. He got the Blink Dagger before he knew the boots came from the Courier. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, I guess with all the regen runes he's been getting, he hasn't really needed it. So yeah, He's a bit of a rune lord this game, not going to lie. But uh, it's partially down to the supports so who have done a good job of pressuring it and keeping the Shadow Fiend back. And Yeah, I, I think with this... All eyes really should be centered on Zizzy. Yes. He's the one who should be looking to make plays. And I mean, it's a safe lane core axe. You got to be making big plays it's, here. It's it gets like hard that. because there's already swap online and there's hook shot ready by the time this blink comes out. So yeah. two heroes to counter initiate. Juggernaut, who you really, if you don't kill him, he's going to turn the fight with an Omni Slash. So a lot of turnaround potential for EG, and it makes it hard to find easy openings. Radiant's Ziz is currently just hiding top, attack. playing scared. And, well, if he's hiding in his tower, he ain't really pressuring or threatening EG around the map. They smoke up the EG. Mm, what felt like maybe they want to make something happen with their new Blink Dagger and RP ready to go. Uh, Universe uses his smoke to head towards the bottom. Trying to scout out Z Freak here. Do they have detection in case they get a hold of him? They don't between They got the call top lane onto AUI, and oh, you blink, you'll miss it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have to use the finger. They just get the blink call. They secure the kill. It is a support Skyrath made. Top. And AUI did get his level 6, so I think he'll still be okay getting his levels there. But nice pick off. Maybe they get more here. Universal TPM. Anyone who's able to get this blink call on is an easy takedown with the finger in tow. You gotta be careful here if you're EG. So they'll wait behind for now. But I don't think they're gonna make a committed jump onto Universe near the tower. So it looks like they'll pull back in behind. So outside of that, the smoke from Evil Genius is not really amounting to a whole lot at this point. Maybe he's still hanging around this mid lane. He's still the 7 for your support. It's not too shabby, but still yet to see the big RP come out from Sumail. And bottom lane, Z-Freak. Z -freak. He wants yeah. that heal bomb with Squee. He's getting a bit more comfortable here. Now that Squee shows Radiant's up and they put the ward behind the attack. tower. They managed to bully Fear away from the lane. He's going to look to head towards mid, it looks like. These spider ones look weird when I, I'm zooming in on them. Just like this little dog pile of bulbous creatures poking away at the tower. But the damage does add up when there's that many. Radiant's and EG are starting to get boxed in. If they attack. forfeit this tower bottom, then the jungle can be infested and taken over. But they're busy with other objectives. They want these ancients. Now they've got... Actually, three points in the tower. He just sits at the level two spear, and now they, they try to make the go bottom. So they're going to miss on the hook shot. Not there. Sumail with blink. We're not seeing an opening. This is ideal. They clear out a massive ancient stack. They also hold the tower bottom. Now, 
Does Complexity still want to push on in? It doesn't seem like it. I don't think they realized it, but that's a big injection of gold going EG's way. Now Fear on 2.5k. But yeah, an interesting to point out. We, there was a period where we saw... Oh, top lane. You have to make the swap. X immediately swim a little, trying to be on the run, but there's a magic missile. And Fear just one auto attack as well. Now bottom. bottom. They got Universe with a blink call. Do they get that dunk in time? He's trying to TP out. Gotta make sure you don't whiff it. Oh, kaboom. If he had done that dunk, one auto attack early. I think he was going to be able to There's an RP. Let's catch Z Freak. That heal, though, did a lot of work. Drops oh. you may alone. Another call. Chop number one. They get him. They're looking maybe for fear. He's got Omni Side. But stay near the spider legs. You'll be okay. Chop number two. He gets up the Omni, but it's nothing but spiders. He hits and dunk number three. It's a triple for Zizzy. And now, looks like AUI will be next. This is going to be four. Probably dropping here on the mid. There's also action break out with Shadow Bean going in under the Venge, perhaps. No, Invis Venge right now so it looks like AUI is helplessly run down the sin visitor has got a little bit of time left uh, they'll have a clockwork respawning just runs right down mid wanting to set up on the shadow fiend but uh, the damage is done uh, max getting a lot of heavy lifting done here for complexity he needs to though we keep making that call out that this is his time to shine and he better get the most out of it because later on in the game when you have a farm jug a setup coming out from the magnus it's just not going to be as easy but that is what they were asking for so it went from well, man they went from what seven to one to eight to six yeah what a turn very big turn. So complexity benefit a lot from it that Brood Army, able to mitigate that Omni Slam, certainly helps out. The RP was there, but not as dramatic as they wanted. His only thing about going to swing will be in trouble once more. Will be, he goes down again. And a hard game for your Lion, who's just trying to find some time to get some solo XP. And He's almost got the blank. That is, that's the item. You get that? You're a happy Lion, but it has been a bit delayed here by the repeated death. Still, his net worth is better than the the EG supports. I think mostly thanks to the... I think it's a one-tower advantage. Yeah, it is. But Dyer's that could change quickly now. Under under here, looking to cor correct that and take one top. Three Quick seconds seat. for RP. Zumail waits in the corner. be a good opening. Shockwave just blinks on back. Zumail not ready to fight. Radiant structures one for one tower at best. Yeah. Hit go down. Hit trade for the one in the top lane. Radiant go down. Top will go down thereafter Dyer's from the hands of fear. But Z Freak also has been pushing this bottom lane. Has Your brood mother. Starting these root things, taking over the jungle, taking away these side camps, has the Midas to work with, trying to throw together an Orchid. And this is where Roshan starts to become a possibility for Call with, with the tier one down bottom and with the Brood always in the EG jungle. It's hard to sneak into the Rosh pit. They still have their tier one up mid, so there's like no real good angle for EG to approach from. At the same time, does an Aegis really do that much for these Call heroes? I don't feel like anyone's an exceptional Aegis carrier, but... Just getting the golden experience, if nothing else, is still well worth it, so... I think we'll see them go for the Aegis soon, EG. May even be content to let them have it. They are running a Jug Magnus with a Venge for the Minus Armor, so you've got some disgusting late game potential here, and... I don't even know if they would be worried if they were playing from behind with this Radiant's type of draft, and... Well, I mean, even farther behind than they are. This is a pretty manageable lead, considering it's two towers, no, it's just a one. And I think it's something that complexity can easily turn around. Just one good RP, that's really all it's going to take. We got them level three in power. we will probably be level four soon. They smoke up. They're heading towards smoke. the north here. Love to find an opening. They're heading way deep. In a nice little aggressive war. See the lion swindle. He just wants his Blake dagger. So close. 100 gold away. Not happening here. Unless he gets away. Skewer shoves him back. Fear will clean him up once more. It's so well the last to TP in. out. He was just out of rocket vision right over there. Very close to getting caught. This is also close to getting caught. Blinks away, but you know, space created for your bottom lane, Dakota. Yeah. Z Freak, the, the winner, at least as far as Paul is concerned. Ah, my lane now, fools. They'll be able to push. Rocket does come in. Cleans up a couple of the Broodlings. And in the way, almost enough to finish off the little army, but Dyer's it does force EG to feel some attention towards this bottom lane. Uh, Z Freak, once he sees that, he just goes to town, farming elsewhere, taking away little bits of here and there from the EG woods. Speaking of EG, they, they continue to play aggressive. They got Mystic Flare, they got Hookshot. Got to get AUI Radiant's close enough that he can get in range for this, and he's looking for it, but creeps are not cooperating right now. They're blocking things off. Squee, I think, might have seen him. Blink, RP, oh, he dodges it. What a quick trigger reaction there from Ziz. 
Very nice play back. And that's an RP down. Yeah, I guess ideally you hit him with the rocket and then go in with the blink RP, but he, he was just ready for that one, man. Fast reactions. With RP down now, it's an opening for Carl. What do they want to do with this? Do they try to go for the Roche? Do they look for a smoke play? Do they just contentedly sit back and farm? I'm not sure, but this is definitely an opening. That RP is a crucial part of the EG team fight. PBD pinging out the bottom lane says, maybe I might need some assistance here at some point. But for now, it looks like EG still kind of hanging around this top lane. Get up, Aoi and Universe have been here for quite a while to scout things and as you've said complexity maybe look to take advantage of this opportunity while the rp is down maybe they're just content to keep on farming it on up how's swindle doing to get that blink dagger he's got it now bottom lane hook shot narrowly missing z freak was right here and just juke south the hook barely fell in connect and all well, the tower will be tonight bottom complexity still to be happy with that is mid lane or maybe go here on fear as mana's being drained he's Sprinting down towards the brood. Or actually back towards safety, it looks like. Yeah. That's has been completed as well on Rusu for Shadow Fiend. After the Yules, he's got the full Manta back at home here. Hmm. He's slowly building up some potential here. Good good burst that Skyrath Silence. It's uh he's got the Yules and the Manta now, so. Yeah, try to Manta out of COG so it can be a decent Manta counter to them as well. Good against Jug with his obvious slash as well. Hello, Cleave, not great. So it might eat a slash or two. We'll see. Yeah, it, it'll eat a, probably at least a slash or two. That's something. How many times have you seen? The, the real counter get to away? the Omni is going to be the Yule Scepter and the Grave. Yeah. Those, which is a max grave. I want to point out, Squee. Maxing the heal goes really well with the spider wings, as we mentioned, and just skipping the sword the entire time. Late call on the mid lane, swap out. He catches a hole. The cogs coming out as well, making three. They all end up falling. Just not enough damage. Now Z-Freak choosing to join the fight. He'll pay as well. One big RP to Dakota. That is all it takes. I don't think Z-Freak should have been there. He should have just kept doing the blue thing there at the bottom lane. But he does get involved and he will go down. That is a huge dramatic turn for EG to wipe the floor with three. Actually, four. And now they'll be able to take down the tier Dyer's one. Beautifully set up fallen. right there. They just anticipated that kind of a jump, made the quick swap and turn around. Dyer's the Genius is being one attack. step ahead with that fight, and now they segue into the Roche pit. It's some easy ages. About to come over. Level 3 Omni Slash coming soon. He's going Scotty. Even more stats to go with that in power. Oh, man, that is great. Ground that Aegis. Back out. EG. One fight. And it goes from being a 5k gold lead to an EG lead. Just right. completely turning the game in one fell swoop. So, complexity with their squad that could fall off a bit sooner. New pressure's on them now to kind of bring the game right back. Universe looking to finish out a full stack with two of the components. He's actually on the way there. He's left towards the mid lane. Here comes Ritzer. Has not yet pulled out for a big dramatic spirit bomb LD. Has yet to even get a kill under his belt. Yeah. Very inactive for your Shadow Fiend. He's now. farmed well. He's CS'd well. He's still your leader in last hits. But like you said, he hasn't really made plays. When we saw Sumail first doing this Yule's build, he wasn't just farming with it. He, he was finding solo close, creating space for his team. And Radiance top tower it's kind of a dangerous attack. game to go around doing that against the Jug Omni and the, the Mystic Flare Hook, Radiant but at the same time, fortified. it's just been a, a very passive showing so far. DG now look to get aggressive. They're going to push the bottom lane. It's a tier one for tier one so far. It looks like that'll be the trade, but if that is the trade, is it's an EG attack. favor trade because this tower at bottom is much more important for Roshan. Oh yeah. Radiance top tower. And when you're when you're attack. down on towers, which I believe they were heading into that, yeah, they were down Dyer's one or two towers. Tower now, is under attack. now it's uh, it's equalizing things out nicely. Swindle might set Ooh. up a kill mid though. No, he's just gonna back off. Uh, narrowly see universe there. Now the rocket pops. Not gonna get hit with the rocket, so Swindle did still have the blade, but not using it quite yet. By the way, TPD got a gem. I don't know if we officially mentioned that. Yeah, it's official. Okay, it's now official we have, now. We have officially addressed the fact that TPD has a gem. Dyer's we released a, a, a signed certified statement. Be on the lookout if you're a new mother that relies on being in this. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen.
He's going to be one step ahead with the map control. They continue to move Dyer's down this bottom lane. Indeed, once drive. And they're going to add pressure now on a tier two. Does complexity look to pull back, or do they just kind of sack it here? They have hopeful eyes on trying to make a jump play happen in the universe. They see him with the Dyer's support on the high ground, but he is playing very cautiously. And he's not even trying to go for it. Thanks for the four staff here, he says. He's going to keep on pushing now. That's two towers taken, Dyer's just for the tier one top. Excellent trade for EG, and they're not done Dyer's yet. They're going high ground, Dakota. He hit so hard with the same power as well. He's got plenty of stat boosts with his Scotty already complete. Outside the base, the Lions taking Radiant's a very aggressive position here attack. from Swindle. Not spotted by EG. If they could just quickly bring down Sumail, that would be an excellent way to start the fight, but doesn't seem like they'll get that opening. I don't think they want to let up quite yet, though. Looks like maybe they could make a setup play. Fear is just proudly parading up here on the high ground. Anyone who walks near is mincemeat for his Omni Slash. Yeah, especially now that he has still the power on and Mask of Madness to put on top of it. Nearby Z Freak here. Well, you know, PPD said he did a cast for us uh, a couple months ago that he just he doesn't think Blue Mother's strong, the hero falls off. You get your you get your tower even too, and then what? As the courier makes a very bold uh, delivery, and now that gets the carry, that must be approved there. Must be something here. <laughs> huh, that's really odd. Hey Scooby, <laughs> there's a courier here. That was a very aggressive delivery. Ooh. I'm not sure about that. All right, bit awkward there. Thinking your spider will be squished on your note about what PPD's thoughts are on the brood mother. That's what I think about. Shows it. Yep. They move forward, looking to clear out the next tier two. Now mid lane where complexity might have to do something about it. And notice how the world is. Nice sage on hand. I it's going to turn to a halberd or not. But he Dyer's needs more time if he wants to finish it. But he doesn't have time because EG is already inside the baseline here. Now adding pressure onto his mid tier Radiant's three. Top Got top a minute on the ages. Perfect time to go, baby. Dyer's go. Let's go out from your dazzle. Minus armor. To get, to get that big blink call. He can't because it's disabled here. Nice rocket to prevent that blink. And now we have to cancel it once again. And the hook comes in. Get pitch out Squeed to the north. Your dazzle out of the fight as fear will instantly bring down the lion. Squeed trying to run away. The universe. Well, maybe won't let him go. The urn coming in. Gets off the heal. Barely surviving. Still though, dazzle out of the fight. Click skewer. Just coming on through. Don't mind me. Potentially land of Rex here, Dakota. Yeah, they're trying their best to slow him down. Requiem to fly. He doesn't really do a whole lot. Oh, no. It's mistimed, apparently. Here, he still has his extra life. He's going to be dunked down from the first one. But Brood has to come home to play base defense. That's when you know you're in trouble. Silence there. Hey, you are ready to blink. Call now the RP. He found two again. Sumail. Ride him up. Knock him down. Pushes him back in. And EG. Clean house. That's five dead. Only two buybacks. Two will respawn. Dyer's uh, I don't know if it matters. If they all fun. buy back, EG just looking like they can just run over complexity. Started off as a seven to one game, then went to eight to six, and since then EG has put up twelve unreturned kills. They just continue to pile on the damage. Now diving into Squee, who just respawned. As soon as he respawns, he's dead again. And it looks like this Dyer's is just about it. They're, they're just getting brutalized at this point. 22 to 7, complexity. Getting ready to accept the fact that they might have been just shoved right back down into the lower bracket. Evil geniuses continue to show that they are a tier one team and that the gap between them Dyer's and everyone else is pretty big. Even with these the last, the last team Radiant's in their path to a, a straight three undefeated series to the, the land finals will be not today. With a new roster, but. I mean, if you had said going into the... If, if EG was magically in the sum of two qualifiers, right. which they were directly invited to the defending champions, mm -hmm. I think Not Today would have been one of the, the top candidates to take them down, or at least to take a game off of them. EG still would have been heavily favored, but out of the teams in that event, I think most would have put Not Today towards the top of the list. That said, though, this EG team is not messing around, man. They want a, a quick, clean entry to the event. They turned down the Red Bull tournament scheduled a week before the summit because they said they they just want to focus on the summit three. That's their big event in May. Mm -hmm. Probably have ESL Frankfurt the next month. Well, they will have ESL Frankfurt the next month in in uh, Germany, and that'll those those will be their two big events. So well, they're they're serious about this one. They're one series away from qualifying, and I'm sure they would love to make a statement and go undefeated en route. Well, they're on the they're on the warpath. Yeah, fear. 
with an Invis rune. Going hunting for an easy pick from behind here. Doesn't have a blink to catch up. Come over here, Dazzle. Give Dazzle's me a hug. Dazzle's like, get the hell away from me. <laughs> Back in base, but not even base is safe. Ready? Here it comes. Oh, go, 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 go. You're dead. See you later. Sweet. Probably move his camera for a quarter of a second there. And it's like, well, I'm dead now. Too late. Okay. Lying out now, 40 seconds, no buyback. EG now. Going to the top lane, they'll clear out this last outer tower as they look to put a win on this game. It just, it's such a statement when it's 8 yeah. to 6 and they, they put up 12 unanswered kills. Take the Roche, win every fight. Dyer it's right after tower. Complex, you get the triple attack. dunk bottom from Ziz's axe. And he's like, okay, now maybe Complexity's life starts to come into the zone, but they just made no mistakes after that. Slight blips in the radar, but this is Dota. It is a game of mistakes by its very nature. And they've had very few ever since that one skirmish. I'm gonna go out with Bane here. They got refresher on Sumail. I want a big double RP. Double skewer, double RP. If you double skewer, that would make a certain move from you like Kuna's points. That's what I want to see right now. But he's chopping the ass. makes those videos in his sleep. Because he's always awake, apparently. Radiance middle tower. Okay, Agnum's complete on Universe. There's your Scotty for your Shadow Fiend. Is it enough to pull him back into this game, though? Oh, Oi! Olay! That, that won't make new for Ah, gotcha! So you let him know. I see you, bro. Nice heal, bro. Get in there, for the finger, though. Swindle's trying to get it. It's in the beach. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Good luck with Whoa. that one. Here, he hits pretty damn hard. And he's actually getting hit. Okay, there's one RP. He does catch. A Manta! Alright, drops there. He does sidestep it with a Manta, but yeah, they still get the kill. They still get the win. He's tall. Dave has now. That was a pretty sick play, though. It was. Nice one, too. Let's see the last stand in there. True that. Okay. Well, yeah. only a moment, and then it was gone. And now there's only two in the winner bracket. Not today, and EG. EG will go in as heavy favorites. If Even if not today takes one game, it will be considered a bit of a, a surprise. If they manage to take the series, that will be considered a shocker.